right over there. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and I am doing such a fun video today. It's actually kind of a mixture of a traditional video, DIY, so I'm giving you your DIY fix, but it also has a fun element to it. Excuse me. Sorry, the plane decided to really just fly on by at the moment. It's literally been a minute. Oh my god, it's still flying! So now that the plane is done and it's departed, so basically the fun element to this is that the three projects I'm creating in this video are actually gifts for you guys. So a while back I hit 200,000 subscribers, actually not even a while back, it was pretty recently and we are currently at 320,000 subscribers which is absolutely crazy but I did a giveaway for 200k, I gave away five Amazon gift cards, I also gave away three custom DIY projects and it's just taken me a while to get around to creating these projects. A lot of my DIY projects I create for myself or for my friends or my family but I love that these ones are actually for you guys so I have to make them extra good and extra fresh of course one of the winners actually lives in Santa Monica so I'm going to be bringing her her DIY project because it's a little bit larger scale so at the end of the video you're going to see me bringing her her project which is super fun I already created it I hope that she loves it and last but not least before jumping into today's video this one is in partnership with HelloFresh and I've actually created many videos in the past with HelloFresh I love 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 their service and just everything that they offer which I will talk about a little bit later in the video. All right guys, so I pulled out my phone here because I actually wanted to pull up the email threads between each of the winners just to kind of give you guys like a preface before actually doing the project. So our first winner was Bridget Kamiski and I'm really excited. She actually said, I sent my little like intro email and then she said, hi, thank you so much for picking me. I'm so excited. Some of my favorite projects you've done have been your circle plant holder, the wall hanging from the same Urban Outfitters video and the most recently I've been obsessed with the basket light that you created. And I said, hi Bridget, yay, so excited to be working on this with you. Okay, I love all those ideas. Could you possibly scroll through Pinterest and see if you have any other home decor and DIY projects that you like um, or anything that you want to like implement in your home any elements that you like such as wood any color palette whatever it might be and Bridget responded and said hi I definitely need a jewelry organizer right now it's just it's just all piled together and then she said I like the idea of some sort of wall hanging jewelry organizer and can look through Pinterest to find ideas if you like and I said like that sounds great and she actually sent a couple of really great uh, Pinterest items so I'll just put them on the screen for you guys so you can see but there are these three images here and I personally absolutely love this one. I hope you guys can kind of see that. So I'm going to be recreating this exact jewelry holder because I love the vibe of this. It's very mid-century modern, but it also kind of has a kind of retro vibe to it as well. I really, really like it. And I'm going to also try to find a proper credit to the original creator of this. So I will link that below. But we are going to be creating this jewelry out. But we are going to be creating this jewelry out. But we are going to be recreating this jewelry organizer for Bridget. The thing I love about this first project is it's actually super affordable to recreate. So I just got a couple pieces of wood at Joann's Fabrics in the raw wood section. I got three long dowels and I also got this 24 inch by three inch piece of wood. So what I'm starting off by doing is just marking three inches up on each side of the wood and then creating a diagonal line to the corner. And I'm using just a handsaw just to saw this into a diagonal shape. It looks a lot like I'm doing this like super vigorously, but I swear to you guys, it was super easy. The wood was very, very thin, but also at the same time pretty sturdy and nice quality so that is exactly what I did on either side to create these diagonal edges but if you do have some form of power tool feel free to use that as well so the next step I wanted to do was actually create the actual rods that are gonna go across this jewelry holder so I cut them again looking vigorously cut but these are the exact sizes that I cut the rods into you're going to need one larger one for the center two medium-sized ones and then two small ones it kind of cascades almost into a diamond shape and I'm using a little bit of experience espresso wood stain. Uh, I just got this at Home Depot and I'm just staining this piece of wood because that is the original inspo photos color and I love 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 this color of stain. I typically don't like dark stains but this one is so pretty for some reason. I feel like it looks like a legit piece of hardwood flooring uh, and then I went ahead and took my cut pieces of dowel and we are going to be gluing these down. So how I did this was I actually used a ruler to find the center point which was 12 inches and I did a bead of glue across the center. I'm using a quick hold, like industrial grade adhesive. I laid down my first and longest rod, and then I used a ruler to make sure that it was equal on either sides. And I repeated the process down and up. I think there is about three inches of space in between each section, uh, but you can variegate this or I just said variegate. I don't think that's a word. Vary this up as you would please uh, and just create your very own. And then I added a hanging loop on the backside just to hang it up and that finished off this project. Thank you. 
All right, so typically I don't share my break times with you guys, but because this video is in partnership with HelloFresh, I just wanted to share with you guys the meal that I am creating today. If you do not know, HelloFresh makes cooking meals at home super easy, regardless of how good you are in the kitchen. So don't worry about that because I am not a good chef. And the thing I love the most about HelloFresh is that it gives you the perfect amount of ingredients along with a really great recipe card to create your meal. So you're not having any leftover produce or leftover meat, whatever it might be, which is my issue when I cook is that I buy too much stuff and then I end up not using it. So it's really great that they give you the perfect amount of stuff to use. This also is really nice because it kind of gives you brand new options every single week of food with chef curated seasonal recipes that are delivered to your door every single week. And the great thing is that you can easily change up your delivery days or food preferences and even skip a week if you need to do so. So I have been a humongous fan. I have been using HelloFresh for quite a long time. And I just absolutely love again, how it gives you the perfect amount of food. The meals are super amazing quality and they're also typically made for two people. So I share it with my roommate or I share it with my friends. Um, today I was actually over at my friend James's house. So we ended up eating this ravioli and it was really, really incredibly amazing. And not to mention HelloFresh is from $5.66 per serving. Yes, like super affordable. And you can get eight meals free by going to HelloFresh.com and using my code LONEFOX80 for a total of $80 off of your first month. So our next winner's name was Leah, and I'm really excited. I emailed her the intro email, and she responded and said, with all the amazing stuff you create, it's just so hard to pick. I really love your throw pillow designs, painted bottles and trays, or even a vintage picture from the thrift store that has been redecorated, which I love all those concepts. And I said, hi, Leah. Oh, I love those ideas. Do you have any specific colors or textures that you like in your space? Do you like raw wood, marble, cement? Um, also, any inspo photos you could find on Pinterest that would be great to gear me in the right direction. And she said, I really, really love textured pillows um, with leather navy black and white or mustard yellow so I kind of kept all those in mind and I'm actually going to be creating Leah a very textured and fun pillow um, completely DIY and I really love the outcome of this pillow so let me just share with you guys what I created for Leah for Leah's project, we are starting off with a pillowcase. Now this is one of these square pillowcases from Ikea, but I actually sewed it down to be a rectangle shape because I wanted it to be a nice rectangle shape just for this accent pillow. And then I grabbed some yarns and a fabric along with my Fabri-Tac adhesive, which you guys know is my holy grail craft item. I love it. And I just cut down a piece of this fabric. Now this exact fabric is from Joanne's Fabrics. It's left over from one of my older videos I did. It was the DIY school supplies. And basically this pillow is a whole ton ton of gluing down different strands to create fun textures, shapes, patterns, designs, and just a ton of interest. So I'm starting off by gluing down this strip of fabric. And by the way, guys, the Fabri-Tac dries clear and it also is literally like a liquid seam. This stuff is not going to come off, so do not worry. And I glued down a piece of rope at the bottom into five different sections. And now I'm going in with some yellow yarn because she did mention that she loved mustard yellow. And I'm just doing like a back and forth kind of Ooh, I, it's not a weave. I don't even know what this is. Back and forth little pattern with this yarn. This just adds a nice block of color. And that's kind of what I'm creating here is a color blocked section. So I next went in with a white yarn um, and just the same exact thing, repeating that process all the way down, going up and down, back and up. You can also create spirals if you wanted to. That was a thought I had, which end up doing in a little bit, you're gonna see. And then I also just really varied the chunkiness of my yarn. I love, love, love how thick this yarn is. I think this gives it a very, macrame look without actually having to macrame which is nice and then I finished off the top with a nice border of macrame rope and then in the center section here I legit did a squiggly line of yarn and I just wanted to add some interest to the center and then what I did was I glued little spiraled sections of the same colored yarn in between the squiggles and I think it turned out so cute I love the way that this looks I think it totally finished off the pillow and I'm obsessed with the outcome I think that she's gonna love it as well and it definitely fit all of her colors um, and kind of texture needs. And last but not least, we have the larger scale DIY project of this video. And this is for Brooke. And this is the girl that actually lives in Santa Monica, which I was so excited about. We actually have a very long email chain between us because we were like talking for a while. So I sent Brooke the intro email, just like basically letting her know that she won the giveaway. And she's like, awesome. This is so great. I actually live in Los Angeles. Um, and I said, and then I emailed back and said, just send along some inspo photos. Or maybe if you have a set of items that you would like for your space, let me know exactly what you need. And Brooke actually attached her Pinterest and she just wrote a very long 
long message. He said, I attached my Pinterest board that contains both the aesthetic I'm currently working on for my space and some DIYs that I have pinned that I thought were pretty neat. My intentions are to blend a bit of boho, industrial, while still remaining light and airy. As far as things I like for my space, I'm a whole whopping three weeks into living in Los Angeles. Congrats, Brooke. Now you're probably like six months because I took so long to film this video. But basically, she needs something really nice and decorative for her space. So we ended up talking a while. I looked over her pin board and I actually asked her if I can create one of the larger scale projects on her pin board and bring it to her in person and she said that that sounded amazing. So I actually did just that. I kind of reconfigured it just a little bit um, and I am so excited for you guys to see this project. So let me share with you guys what I created for Brooke. Jumping into our last project for Brooke, this one was one that was a bit more advanced and a bit more time consuming, but I'm obsessed with the outcome. So I used this really pretty light gray felt fabric from Joanne's Fabrics. I also used some polyester batting, and then I also ended up using this little side table I found on Amazon, which I will link below for you guys. So what I'm starting off by doing is cutting five inch wide sections of the felt, and I actually left the length of this to just be however long the bolt of fabric was. So I don't even know how long they were, but you're basically just gonna want them to span across the width of your side table. So I cut out a ton of these five inch wide sections and these are what we end up having. I bet you they were about five inches by maybe three feet. And then what I did was I folded them in half all the way down and I went along with my sewing machine and sewed right against the edge. So we are creating these little tubes of felt fabric um, by repeating this on our sewing machine. So sewing down the sides and you can definitely use pins if you feel comfortable to hold this felt together. But honestly, felt is a very thick fabric. So I kind of felt comfortable just doing it with my hands. This is what we end up having. And you're going to repeat this for all of your strips. I used a total of about five strips for this entire stool and then once you are completely done we're gonna want to flip these inside out so that the seam is on the inside so I used a wooden dowel and I basically just kind of caught an edge of the fabric and then I rolled it over it itself. This literally looks like some weird like intestine or something. I'm sorry, but it's spooky season, so why not? Um, and I basically inverted this to where the seam now is on the inside and we just have a nice little tube of felt. So what we are doing is we're gonna stuff this tube with some of our polyfill and you can grab this from an old pillow. You could buy some at Joann's, whatever you wanna do. And I use my dowel to stuff it down. And another key tip is to really massage the polyfill once it gets into its section. That way you're not left with any hard sections or any soft sections. It's just very even throughout. So that's exactly what I did with all of my strips is I stuffed them with the polyfill, used a dowel to push it down, and we are basically creating these nice fluffy long felt ropes. Here are three of my little felt ropes completely done and this is what they look like. And next what we are doing is I'm grabbing a scrap piece of my felt fabric and I'm just kind of eyeballing about three inches around the edge of the top of the side table and I'm cutting out a circle. So it doesn't have to be perfect because this is actually going to be stapled onto the bottom side. So do not worry because what we're gonna do is use a staple gun to basically reupholster the side table into a stool. So I'm going around and adding a ton of staples. Please feel free to be generous with the staples. Um, I definitely did on my part. I added a ton of them to make sure it was nice and sturdy. And then what you're going to want to do is leave a little bit of an opening and you're going to want to stuff that with polyfill. So I just wanted to create almost like a half dome shape on top of the stool and give it a little bit of a comfortable element prior to actually attaching our little ropes that we did. So I basically reupholstered this table into a miniature stool. And now what we're doing is we're adding our ropes. So I'm adding two staples on the back side, taking our little felted rope thingy and going across the center section as shown here, flipping it over to the back side, pulling out some of that fluff and then going over it with my staple gun and stapling it into place. And I actually did have to cut off some excess, but do not worry, I use that excess on the stool as well because as you work from the center out, the pieces actually do get smaller. And I'm just butting them up to each other and creating these strips of like fluffy felt. And I think it looks so pretty and modern and just nice. And I love how it looks also handmade as well. I just think it looks really nice in the end. So I'm doing my staple gun, adding a ton of staples, add as many as you'd like, 
It's gonna be on the underside, so don't worry about it and repeat the process. So as you can see, I have three strips here. I'm now adding the fourth strip as well. So I'm repeating this process. I'm on the other side now and just creating a new strip. And in the end, this just looks so, so cute. You can really, really customize this. Maybe even think about doing it with a velvet. I think that would be super pretty or a different color of felt. You can also weave them as her original um, kind of inspo photo was, but I really liked the ending result of this in the strips and I just screwed in the legs and that finished off the stool. All right guys, so I just made it to Santa Monica and I just texted Brooke, I'm really excited because I made her that DIY stool that you guys saw and I'm currently outside. Her apartment is actually kind of hard to find parking. Actually, she's right over there. Oh my gosh, she's just right over there. Hey girl! Nice to meet you. This is Brooke. Oh, oh and Marie, this is, this. well, I don't know who I'm introducing <laughs> to my roommate or the camera. You were actually a winner of my Lone Fox giveaway, yeah. which was so exciting. <laughs> and she lived in Santa Monica, so I was like, this is perfect, because I live like decently close. So I was like, I can literally make you something like larger scale, you know, and then just bring it to you. So it's easier and more fun. I took inspiration from your Pinterest board, and there was this one item that I really liked. I kind of altered it a little bit, but um, this nice little stool. Oh God. And it's like fully DIY'd. I sewed the whole thing. Like, you do that? Like, I made it with salt <laughs> and then like cut strips and then sewed them together and then stuffed them and then sewed it here and then like stapled it all together. Dude, and I'm then so I made excited. it in, I made it in a gray because um, I thought it was like neutral. No, and that's would, like perfect. fit your yeah. style. You said you liked industrial boho, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Which is really good and fun. <laughs> um, but yeah. Finished little stool. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Thanks so excited. So I'm not done with Brooke yet. <laughs> so, um, I remember that she had emailed and said that she did, I thought that you did something interior wise, but you did, you did architecture, right? Yeah, so it depends on the job. So, so it's like her job, yeah, kind of. I used to work in education, so okay. I build colleges and elementary schools, and now I'm doing interior design, so now I do apartments. And oh, rent, so like, okay, so more like like residentially kind of things. Now I do, yes. God, That's so cool. I wanted to feature that because I thought it was cool that she did like architecture slash interior as well. So guys, that was my video today. I hope that you enjoyed this one. It was so fun and I definitely want to do this every time I do a giveaway. I want to do some kind of video like this because I love the concept and idea of this. So if you like it as well, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you're notified when I upload brand new videos. I really hope that everyone loves their prizes. I'm actually going to be shipping them out right after um, I finish this outro here. So those are going to be going out to the winners and I'm excited to see them in their space. I'm going to ask them if they could like snap me a photo or something and I'll make sure to share them with you guys on my insta story so follow along over there i hope i didn't sound very nasally in this video i'm literally so congested right now i feel like everyone in the world is it's just fall season you know like but that was my video today i hope that you enjoyed i hope you have an amazing rest of your day everybody um and maybe you will be the winner of one of my next giveaways as well so stay tuned keep watching check out some of my old videos if you're bored you know check them out and i will catch you all in the next one have an amazing day i love you all so much bye guys